Today, we're jumping right into a cybersecurity event that's unfolding uh, pretty much as we speak, our mission. We're going to unpack a brand new actively exploited vulnerability in Microsoft SharePoint. And maybe just as important, figure out who's behind it all. So to start us off, maybe just uh, remind everyone what SharePoint is and why this whole zero day thing is such a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's definitely a crucial topic. SharePoint, well, basically, it's a software server lots and lots of organizations use. Think of it like a central library or workspace for storing and sharing internal documents. Helps teams collaborate. Right, like a shared drive, but more complex. Exactly. And zero day. That term means this flaw, this vulnerability was found, and attackers were already using it before Microsoft, the vendor, even knew about it. Yeah. So they had zero days to create a fix, a patch, before the attack started. It was totally unknown, undefended. Wow. Okay. And this isn't just theory, right? This is happening now. We're talking CVE 2025-53770, discovered just last weekend. What's the uh, the actual mechanism here? What can attackers do with this? So this specific flaw lets hackers steal really sensitive private keys, but only from the self-hosted versions of SharePoint. That's an important distinction. Self-hosted, meaning not the cloud version Microsoft runs. Correct. If an organization runs its own SharePoint servers and these private keys, well, think of them like the ultimate master keys for your digital kingdom, they can decrypt data, let attackers pose as legitimate users, basically gives them uh, a free pass. Okay. So once they have those keys. They can get in remotely, plant malware, grab basically any files or data stored in SharePoint. And uh, what's really worrying is they can use that access to jump into other systems on the same network. Oof. So it's a beachhead. Exactly. And the scale is already significant. Microsoft's reporting dozens of organizations, um, including government sectors in different countries, already hit. Which brings us to the, uh, the million-dollar question. Who is doing this? Well, Microsoft is pointing fingers pretty clearly. They've identified three distinct hacking groups, all assessed as being backed by China. The names are Linen Typhoon, Violet Typhoon, and Storm 2603. Sounds ominous. Do we know what each group is after? Yeah, and that's interesting because they seem to have different goals, suggesting a kind of uh, coordinated or at least multifaceted effort. Linen Typhoon, for example, seems focused on stealing intellectual property. They typically target government, defense, strategic planning entities, even human rights groups. Okay, what about Violet Typhoon? Violet Typhoon is more about classic espionage. Their targets are really broad. Former government and military folks, NGOs, think tanks, universities, media, finance, health, mostly in the U.S., Europe, and East Asia. And the third one, Storm 2603. That one's assessed with medium confidence as China-based. They've been linked to ransomware attacks in the past. And it's not just Microsoft saying this. Google's Mandiant Unit, another big player in threat intelligence, also confirms China Nexus actors are involved. They actually said multiple actors are now exploiting this multiple actors so it's like a feeding frenzy once the vulnerability is out very much yeah once the method is known others can pile on quickly if they have the capability so for listeners running sharepoints what's the takeaway what should they be doing right now i mean is there good news here well the good news relatively speaking is that microsoft did act fast once it was discovered they've already released patches for all the affected sharepoint versions Okay, so patching is key. Absolutely crucial. And Microsoft's advice is pretty stark. If you run a self-hosted SharePoint server, you basically have to assume you've already been compromised. Assume compromise. That's serious. It is. So install the security updates immediately. Don't wait. And again, just to be super clear, Microsoft's cloud-based SharePoint service, the one they manage, was not affected by this specific bug. Got it. Self-hosted needs immediate action. And uh, any word from the Chinese government on this? Predictably, yeah. They issued a statement saying they firmly oppose and combat all forms of cyber attacks and cyber crime. They call this position consistent and clear. It's similar to how they've responded to past accusations like with the big Microsoft Exchange server hacks back in 2021, the Hafnium group attack. Right, I remember that. That was huge, wasn't it? Yeah. Compromised tens of thousands of servers. Over 60,000, yeah. So it's a pattern of these large-scale attacks, attribution, and then, well, denial. It really just underscores how relentless these these sophisticated cyber threats are. Yeah. And the speed, the speed required to respond is just incredible now. It really is. And maybe a final thought for you, the listeners, to think about the longer game here. These persistent state-backed campaigns, they aren't just problems for giant corporations or governments. They chip away at the broader landscape of digital trust. 
What does it really mean when the tools we use every day to work together become these prime targets? And, you know, what's the ongoing responsibility here for the software makers like Microsoft? Yes, but also for all of us using these tools in this uh, constantly shifting digital battlefield. Something to chew on. For the latest tech insights, visit em360tech.com.